Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Imagine a time when breaking the sound barrier was deemed impossible. But in 1947, everything changed. The Air Force unleashed the experimental Bell X-1 aircraft, shattering the barrier and ushering in a new era of flight. Fast forward to the 1960s, when the X-15 rocket-powered beast dominated the skies, setting unbeaten records for speed and altitude. It even influenced the technology behind iconic missions like Project Mercury, Apollo, and the Space Shuttle. Now, brace yourselves for the jaw-dropping X-51. This missile-sized marvel showcases scramjet power, roaring from Mach 4.5 to Mach 6. With four daring missions under its belt, it covered over 230 nautical miles at an incredible top speed of Mach 5.1. Hypersonic weapon testing has reached remarkable milestones with the AGM-183A Air-Launched Rapid Response Weapon, ARRW. Launched from a B-52H Stratofortress bomber by the U.S. Air Force's 412th Test Wing at Edwards Air Force Base, the AGM-183A ARRW surpassed speeds five times the speed of sound. Executing its flight plan flawlessly, the hypersonic missile proved its potential for delivering swift and precise strikes. The B-52H Stratofortress, a venerable aircraft, has played a crucial role in dropping hypersonic missiles like the X-51A Wave Rider during test flights. These flights are conducted to gather valuable research data for hypersonic technology development. On the X-51A's second test flight, the B-52H released the experimental vehicle from an altitude of approximately 50,000 feet. The U.S. Army has just accomplished a historic milestone by delivering the nation's first prototype of the groundbreaking long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, to the esteemed Corps 5th Battalion 3rd Field Artillery Regiment, 17th Field Artillery Brigade. This cutting-edge ground launch system will serve as a vital weapon and formidable deterrent against our adversaries. At the Arnold Engineering Development Complex High Speed Test Track, Located in Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico, the hypersonic sled recovery effort is taking the world of testing and evaluation by storm. A hypersonic sled hurtling down a monorail at an astonishing speed of 5,300 feet per second. The intensity is unmatched as this groundbreaking capability development effort 
propels us into the future of hypersonic testing and evaluation. The 846th Test Squadron and 704th Test Group from Holloman Air Force Base recently conducted a significant test simulation at the Holloman High Speed Test Track. The test was to evaluate crucial hypersonic braking technologies and enhance workforce readiness for future hypersonic weapons tests. These tests are vital as they contribute to the development of cutting edge capabilities and ensure preparedness in line with the national defense strategy. During the test, a hypersonic sled reached an astonishing speed of 5,300 feet per second on a monorail. The sled's successful recovery, as part of the hypersonic sled recovery effort at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex High Speed Test Track in Holloman Air Force Base. Hypersonic airplanes represent a remarkable frontier in aviation, characterized by speeds exceeding the speed of sound, Mach 1, by a substantial margin. With typical speeds greater than 3,000 miles per hour and Mach numbers M exceeding 5, these aircraft operate in a high-speed regimen where the behavior of air molecules becomes highly significant. At lower hypersonic speeds, the vibrating molecular bonds impact the forces experienced by the aircraft, while at higher speeds, molecular dissociation creates an electrically charged plasma surrounding the vehicle. The X-15 and the Space Shuttle are the only manned aircraft to have flown in this regimen, utilizing rocket propulsion and re-entry aerodynamics. It is flown by NASA in collaboration with the Air Force, Navy, and North American Aviation, achieving unparalleled speed and altitude records during its decade-long program. Watch closely as the auxiliary propellants and lower ventral fin are jettisoned, showcasing the aircraft's advanced capabilities. The X-15 relied on air launching from the B-52 aircraft at high altitudes. Its rocket engine propelled the aircraft for a limited duration, after which it glided back to Earth for a precise landing on dry lake beds, like Rogers Dry Lake. The X-15's groundbreaking achievements opened doors to new possibilities in aerospace exploration and paved the way for future advancements. A more recent versatile spacecraft that promises revolutionized cargo and crew transportation to the International Space Station, ISS, and beyond is the NASA Dream Chaser. Originally designed as a crewed space plane under NASA's commercial crew program, the Dream Chaser offers a range of capabilities and features. With a length of 30 feet, 9 meters, it can accommodate up to seven astronauts for missions to the space station and other destinations in low Earth orbit, LEO. The crewed version shares about 85% of its design with the cargo system, showcasing its adaptability and cost-effectiveness. Under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2, 
CRS-2 contract. The Dream Chaser cargo variant will conduct a minimum of six cargo service missions to and from the ISS, starting in 2023. It has an impressive cargo capacity, capable of transporting over 12,000 pounds, 5,500 kilograms of supplies, equipment, and scientific experiments. What sets the Dream Chaser apart is its ability to make gentle runway landings at 1.5G making it ideal for transporting precious cargo, including human passengers. The Dream Chaser's compatibility with various launch vehicles provides flexibility and accessibility. Equipped with the Shooting Star Service Module, it can deliver cargo to the space station and return critical items safely to Earth. This high reusability vehicle aims to reduce overall costs and ensure quick turnaround times between missions. Sierra Nevada Corporation, SNC, has conducted a series of tow tests on its Dream Chaser engineering test vehicle in preparation for upcoming flight tests. Here, the Dream Chaser test vehicle is towed at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour on the runway of NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. These tests are crucial for validating the performance of various systems, including the nose skid, brakes, tires, and other critical components of the spacecraft. These tow tests are a standard procedure to evaluate the handling and performance of winged vehicles upon landing. The successful free flight test of Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser spacecraft on November 11, 2017 marked a significant milestone in its development. The test aimed to verify and validate the performance of the Dream Chaser during the critical final approach and landing phase, simulating the future return from the International Space Station. The challenges in this test included achieving a precise flight path, autonomous control, and a safe landing. However, the Dream Chaser overcame these challenges and flawlessly executed the pre-planned flight path, demonstrating its capability to navigate and perform a successful landing autonomously. This success showcased the spacecraft's potential as a reliable vehicle for future space missions. Hypersonic speeds have revolutionized the capabilities of missiles and aircraft, offering unparalleled speed, maneuverability, and precision. With ongoing advancements in hypersonic technology, these high-speed platforms hold immense potential for future defense strategies enabling rapid and precise strikes against time-critical targets 
and shaping the future of aerospace and national security. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.